Hey loves, welcome back to another video. I am back on purpose, with purpose, and for purpose. Um, I know y'all are not used to seeing these kind of videos on my YouTube channel. If you were consistent with my videos and what I had released like a couple of months ago, I had mentioned to y'all that I wanted to post more videos that were more so motivating. Um, I'm so glad that you were here. Um, majority of these videos you are going to find on my TikTok, but I want to make it more of a habit that I'm posting these kind of videos on my YouTube channel as well, so that you guys get to see, um, you know, different sides of me. Y'all see when I do my vlogs, and you're also going to see when I post my motivational words. Um, but, so, let's just get straight into the video today. So, this morning, as I spent some time with the Lord he has just been speaking to me all day and has downloaded so much and i'm just excited to get this released to y'all um before i get into today's word i am going to pray so dear heavenly father lord we just thank you for another unpromised day father god lord we ask that as I just release this word, Father God, I pray that it would just grab and grasp the ears of those who it is intended to reach, Father God. May my words be all of yours and none of mine, Father God. May this place just be filled up with the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that you would just remove any outside distractions in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, and just allow us to tune in to what you have to say today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the things that you have already done. We thank you for the things that you are doing, and we thank you for the things that you are about to do, Lord. We thank you, we praise you, and recognize you as king above all kings, and we say all these things in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So... The word that the Lord gave me um, is, is restoration. I don't really know yet on the, t the for the title, but I think the title of this video is going to be a faith or favor is activated with faith or something along those lines. Um, I'm going to figure out the title. But so as I was doing my personal time with the Lord, um, the Lord had guided me to Isaiah 55 verse 10. And it's honestly so funny to me because I have been in the book of Isaiah plenty of times. And I know that I have read past this passage and this verse so many times. But today the Lord had placed it on my heart so heavily, so heavily. And so I'm going to go ahead and read what the Lord placed on my heart. Um, so it is Isaiah 55 verse 10 and it states, For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to, sow to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Y'all, I was stuck. I was so stuck. The Lord had like just paused me there when I had read that. And immediately I was just like, wow, Lord. So... What the Lord is saying right now, and please take this back to God because it does not pertain to everyone. It does depend upon the season that you are in. Um, so take it back to the Lord and test the spirits so that you can receive confirmation from the Lord yourself. So the Lord is speaking individually to those who are in, have been in this season um, of a waiting, the waiting season, the wilderness season, the isolation season. And you have been obedient, you have been faithful, you have done the work, you have been consistent. And the Lord is now saying, you are now going to reap what you sow. You are now going to reap all of the harvest. You are now going to get rewarded. You are now going to get um, have spirit of celebration. Um, Y'all, all day today, I have had the spirit of like joy, the spirit of excitement, um, celebration, um, kind of like anticipation and in a sense because of the feelings that the Lord has given the just the everything that I have been feeling has just been so let me just get to the word y'all because I'm t <laughs> what the Lord spoke it's just so the Lord is saying 
even in the season of dryness, okay, when we break this down, what the Lord is saying, even when it is snowing, even when it is raining, the waters do not return to heaven. Rather, rather they make, they water the earth and they make it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower. So the Lord is saying that even in the midst of the season of dryness, even in the midst of the season of cold and bareness, God's favor is attached to the restoration in your current season. Okay, I need y'all to hear me when I say it. I'm going to say it again. Even in the seasons of dryness, cold and bare, God's favor is attached to the restoration in your current season. If y'all see me looking down, it's because I'm looking, <laughs> referring to my notes that I took earlier. Oh, though your season has been dry, though your season has been feeling like nothing has come together, feeling like you've been doing the work, but you're not seeing the progress. You're not seeing the fulfillment of the promise. You're not seeing the Lord is saying, ultimately, I planted the seed. I am the foundation. And within you being obedient, within you being faithful, within you continue to seek me, within your consistency, thank you, Holy Spirit, that is what's feeding favor. Your faith activates favor. Your obedience activates favor activates favor um so the snow and the rain that it, it watered the earth it watered the earth the snow and the rain your trials and your tribulations right now though it may seem like it looks a mess though it may seem like it's so dry though it may seem like nothing is coming to pass it's dark it's gloomy it watered the earth your season in which you have already been in and been going through and you're now like in the isolation and just waiting on God's timing, it prepared you for the things that God is about to bless you with. It prepares you for the things that God is about to surprise you with. My God, the Lord is saying surprise, surprise. Some of y'all have been having to wait longer than others you have been seeing other everybody else um being blessed before you and you've got to a place that at one point in time you're like god like am i doing something wrong i've been doing everything i've been consistent i've been praying like why has it seemed like it's it just still i'm still waiting lord and the lord is saying because the things that i am about to do i'm gonna get the glory in the things that i'm about to do you're not even gonna have comprehension you're gonna be pinching yourself how like you're going to know how because you're going to know that God, but you're still going to, you're going to try to make sense of the things that God is about to bless you with. So as I continued reading this, um, the things within the process of, of the season that you have been in, God has provided God has kept you safe. God has been your counselor. God has, um, he has guided your feet in every step of the way, even when it seems like you have been going through a season of, of drought that you have been lacking, a season of lack, whether that be in finance, a season of lack in a job, a season of lack in friendships, a season of lack in relationships the Lord still provided in the areas that you needed um, when he called you to obedience and or instruction and the and in, in the sense of the snow and the rain being the water for the earth to get that nutrients okay that God's word God's visions his signs that's that he brought this the root he brought the seed so when the Lord has given you those promises, when the Lord has given you the vision, when the Lord has showed you in your dreams, that was the seed ultimately. And so you seeking an obedience and faith is the, is the watering to the seed that then allows the promise to sprout. Are y'all catching this? I need y'all to catch this. Your faith ignites God's favor and your time is now. The time is now. You are about to reap everything that you have sown. The Lord has saw your heart. The Lord tested you to make sure that your heart aligned with your words and that you weren't just uh, speaking in order to just give and fall in love with God's hand. He made sure that your heart was aligned. And the Lord is saying, congratulations, my faithful servant. You 
have made me so proud. You have done the work. And you didn't give up. You didn't give up when it didn't make sense. You didn't give up when everything looked like the opposite of what I have spoken over your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So everything that the Lord had spoken, that was the gates of heaven opening up to you and Lord planting that seed so that he could begin to prepare you so that he could begin to restore so that he could begin to heal so that he could begin to um, allow you to learn and and strengthen you in the areas that you once lacked but the Lord says you're not going to lack no more there shall lack shall no longer be your portion Because he had to sit you in a specific position in order to get you into a quiet place. In order for you to hear the words, the uh, the Lord's words. He had to put you in that position. Though it didn't make sense where you are sitting right now. You know why you had to go go through the things that you went through. The Lord had to put you in that place to prepare you for everything that he's about to put on your plate. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is saying that you are about to eat in before the presence of your enemies. You are no longer the tail. You are no longer the tail for you are the head of the table. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I want y'all to think of it like this. If you have a plant, right? Right? If you got if you buy a plant, you know that the seed the seed is always there, right? But if I'm not watering this plant, if I'm not pouring into this plant, the plant is gonna die. The plant is going to die. And so what remains then is what is the root. The root of the plant remains. The seed in the plant allowed it to grow, allowed it to sprout. But in order for it to stay alive, hear me, in order for it to stay alive, in order for it to produce, in order for it to bear fruit, you had to pour into it. You had to make sure that you were watering the plant so it stayed alive. And that's what the Lord is saying to you today. You watered your plant. You watered the seed. I was the foundation. I gave you everything that you needed. And you sat there and you watered it. And you made sure that it stayed alive. So God's word is always going to remain the same. His word can never return to him void. So the things that you have been waiting on for the Lord to do over your life is coming to pass. It cannot return to him void. See, if you didn't take care of that plant and it died, right? But one of your friends was like, can I have the plant? And you're like, yeah, sure. And you go over to your friend's house a week later and you see that the plant is alive. And you're asking, is that the same plant that I gave you? And they're like, yeah, actually, it is. It just needed to be poured into. You're going to think like, oh, that that thing was dead. No, it, it wasn't dead. It just needed to be poured into. See, it doesn't matter if when the seed is planted, the seed is planted. It's when you have faith. It is when you have obedience that activates the favor, the favor that God has for you. And the Lord... Let me tell y'all something. The Lord has been speaking to me um, with trucks for the past couple of, of months of this year. And I was driving and I look up and what the what this truck says is it says anywhere, anytime, anything. And when I first began to see this truck, I didn't understand what it meant. And the Lord is saying, at any given time, at any given moment, I'm about to make your dry land flowing with milk and honey. I'm about to make that dry land flowing with the rivers. At any given moment, at any given time, I can do it. And I can do it anywhere, in any kind of circumstances. No matter what your life looks like. The Lord is saying any minute, any time, and anywhere. It is going to happen. And you are not going to expect it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are not going to see it coming. It's going to be a suddenly. The Lord says, you may think you have it figured out. You're doing what I've called you to do. But I have bigger and better plans for you. I have bigger and better plans for you. As I was walking my dog this morning... I'm telling y'all, the Lord is speaking to me all day before I, I, I'm sitting down doing this video. As I was walking my dog this morning, I 
saw this big y'all know those big green boxes that's like for like electricity or something look I, I'm not no handyman or electrician so I don't really know for sure but it was one of those it was a big green box and I sat there for a second and I looked at it and I was like has this thing been here the whole time y'all ever like walk past something like in your house and you're like I never noticed that like has that been here the whole time when I saw the big box the Lord says surprise it's about to be so big. It's about to be so big. It's going to be so unexpected. You're going to have a overnight success. It's going to be overnight miracles. People are going to be looking at you wondering how the heck were you in this place but now you are in this kind of position because the Lord's favor is upon you because you were obedient, because you were faithful, because you didn't give up, because you kept pressing, because you... You refuse to believe the lies that the enemy told you. You refuse to uh, receive the attacks that the enemy was giving you. You kept pushing. You kept pushing. You kept pushing. The Lord is saying, surprise, surprise, surprise. It is time to celebrate. Y'all, right after where I finished um, in Isaiah, the verse right after that, this is what the Lord says. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing. And all the trees of field shall clap their hands. The Lord is saying rejoice rejoice get excited get excited for what I'm about to do is going to be something so something you've never seen done before you're about to be the first one in your family for you are breaking generational curses in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord is saying you for what I'm about to do go ahead and be joyous for you shall go out in joy. You shall go out in peace. Because you are no longer going to lack. You are no longer going to have to struggle and worry about the things that you have been worried about. Because his word cannot turn to him void. The Lord's word remains the same. The seed is is still there. No matter you if you pour into it or not, somebody else will pour into it if you don't. The foundation remains the same. The Lord remains the same. His words cannot turn to him void. For Habakkuk tells us there is an appointed time. And if it seems long to wait. The Lord said there is a season for everything. And your season is now. Your season is now. I'm, I'm just. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be doing things you never thought you would be doing. You're going to be in a position where you're able to lead, where you're able to guide and help. You're going to be at the top. You are no longer going to be overlooked. You are no longer going to be at the bottom. Thank you, Jesus. God is placing you. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is speaking David's throne, David's throne, David's throne, because the Lord has been giving me Isaiah 55 verse 5 and Isaiah 22 verse 22. Isaiah 22 verse 22 states, and I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open and none shall shut and he shall shut and none shall open. The doors that the Lord is about to open over your life, no man can shut because it's not going to be a man miracle. It's going to be a but God miracle. No man can do the things that God's about to do and no man can shut the doors on the things that God is doing. Then the Lord, for Isaiah 55 verse 5, it states, this is right before uh what i've been talking about with isaiah 10 so he says before behold you shall call a nation that you do not know and a nation that did not know you shall run to you because of the lord your god and of the holy one of israel for he has glorified you you are gonna forget how long it took thank you holy spirit the lord <laughs> Y'all, the spirit of excitement is on me. Like the, the way that the Lord has just poured this on my heart. Hear me when I say this. The Lord is saying, you're going to look back and you're going to say, it seemed like it went by so fast. 
Though you know it wasn't like that. Though you know you had to go through the process. Though you know you had to do some things. Though you know the Lord was testing you. Was testing your faith. You were made obedient. And the Lord is saying you're going to look back. And you're going to say it seemed like it went by so fast. You're going to forget how long the process was. You're going to forget how long of being in the wilderness season was. You're going to forget of how long the isolation period was for you. Because what the Lord is going to do, it's not even going to amount to the work that you had to do because of God's goodness, because of God's grace, because of the glory that God is going to get. Whew. I didn't even mean to for this to even get this long, but the Holy Spirit to have his way. Whoever this message reaches, it's already giving you confirmation on top of what God has already told you and spoken over you. Um, I'm just here to tell you congratulations. And not even to get ready because you have already been getting ready. You've already been doing the stuff to be prepared. But to enjoy. To enjoy what is coming. And just to continue to seek God. Continue to see God in all things that you do because he will guide your feet. He will lead you. Don't forget to give God some praise when you get blessed, child. It is the last month and the Lord is doing some things before the end of the year. For some of you, the Lord is doing some things before the end of this year. The suddenly, the unexpected, it's about to be ex expedite. The Lord is expediting your blessings. The Lord is expediting your promises. With a land flowing with milk and honey. <laughs> so I pray that this word has blessed you. I pray that you guys have a blessed day. And I will see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Be safe. And enjoy, honey. Enjoy the things that God is about to bless you with. Till next time. Bye.